Today, I'm going to be getting Minecraft Platinum Trophy, and it was a disaster. I don't know what I'm doing! Me and my friends decided to start up a world and immediately I started getting tons of trophies. Collect wood, open inventory, build a crafting table, craft a wooden pickaxe, craft a stone pickaxe, craft a furnace, kill a monster, eat a pork chop, cook a fish, and craft a sword. I got all these trophies in under 5 minutes so at this pace I was going to plot in Minecraft in like 30 minutes which couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> The first of three steps for the plan was to build a house, but we had to temporarily stay in this cave for the night. We found some iron on our way here which got us an easy trophy, but this doesn't compare to how easy the next two trophies were for building a sign and killing a cow. We knew that this cave wasn't going to work, so we went on another trip and found a shipwreck which gave us one of the million DLC trophies. We dug up some buried treasure and found some easy diamonds which I was able to share with my friend. Eventually we built up the confidence to go deep into the caves and finally found some diamonds. We found a village near spawn and started building our beautiful home that we we're gonna stay in for the rest of the game. <laughs> for all the iron we got from that cave, I was able to get a full set of iron armor for the Iron Man trophy. No. Iron Man. There was only one thing I was missing for my house to be complete. Villagers. And I needed tons of them. So what better place to put them than in my basement? I need villagers because they can give you crazy enchantments for emeralds. I was going to need tons of emeralds and thankfully they're pretty dumb and easy to scam. I quickly got the Hagler trophy for getting 30 emeralds from villagers. Alright, so here's a tour of my villager base, you know, you got some people locked up. I'm dying, help me. But the one thing I'm missing around here is an iron golem to keep them safe. So I'm going to build an iron golem. So you go two blocks up, one here, one here. And then, bodyguard. Now this guy will keep our village safe. This whole time I've been saving the enchantment books in a chest because I wasn't going to use them on this iron armor. So I went back down to the caves and found a huge cave with tons of diamonds. I got all the diamonds I needed and was ready to get out when this happened. Luckily, my friend was able to get my stuff and we continued exploring the cave. To speed up the enchanting process, I was going to need an enchantment table. The emeralds were taking way too long. With no bookshelves around the enchantment table, you only get level 1 enchantments. And if you're vegan, you may want to look away because I slaughtered a few cows for some leather to craft bookshelves. Librarian. Once I finished the fully maxed out enchantment table, I decided that a grindstone might be helpful. But to actually use a maxed out enchantment table, you need tons of XP, and XP is not that easy to get. But I didn't worry because there are literally thousands of XP farms on YouTube, so I built one from By James. This design requires me to build a nether portal, which I haven't done yet, so I got a trophy. I was almost done building the farm when I realized I needed observers, which requires quartz, which is only found in the nether. Literally one of the most dangerous places in Minecraft. So I built a nether portal, and this happened. No way! I headed back into the nether with iron armor and was able to get all the quartz I needed to craft observers. I finished the XP farm and wasn't really sure if it was going to work, so this is my reaction when I realized it actually works. It works! Oh my gosh! Now I was finally able to get fully maxed out diamond armor. So with that I've crossed off the first step of the platinum trophy. Step 2 is to get all the miscellaneous trophies and there were tons of them I needed to get. So let's speed run a few of these trophies. At this point I realized I haven't crafted a hoe or a shovel. I crafted a dispenser, breeded 2 cows, don't ask what happened to that baby cow. I sheared a sheep, baked bread, baked a cake which was honestly a little hard to do, placed a pot and ate raw flesh while starving. Now that I got all the boring trophies out of the way I can start talking about some of the more interesting ones. The first trophy I'm going to be talking about is chest full of cobblestone which requires me to guess what fill a chest full of cobblestone i literally just mined stone for 10 minutes straight so maybe that's why minecraft platinum is a 4 out of 10 difficulty the next trophy is music to my ears which requires me to play a music disc in a jukebox the only problem is that music discs are super hard to find in chests but there's one more thing you can do and that's to get a skeleton to shoot and kill a creeper but this took me a few tries but eventually i was able to get it Let's go, cool, bro. Bang. Music to my ears. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, this song's trash. The next trophy is on a rail, which requires you to travel by minecart for 500 blocks. And 500 blocks is a lot. One of the biggest problems I faced was crafting all the rails. To craft 16 rails, you need 6 iron, and I needed to craft 500 rails. So that means I need 3 stacks of iron. So I went on a mining trip and came back with a little over 3 stacks of iron. I crafted all the rails and started placing them down. Once I placed them all down, it literally took me 2 minutes just to run back to the start. I rode the minecart for a few minutes until I got the trophy right before the end of the track. 
For the trophy leader of the pack, I need to tame 5 dogs. These dogs actually took so long to find when I needed them, but they were everywhere when I didn't need them. I wasn't able to keep any of my dogs because on my way back home they just kept randomly dying. <laughs> But in all seriousness, these are actually really hard to find, so this is my reaction when I found the last dog. <gasps> dog. Leader of the pack. Let's go. <laughs> For the trophy sniper duel, I need to shoot and kill a skeleton from 50 blocks away. But because mobs despawn after 25 blocks on Minecraft PS4, I need to get my brother a full box of skeleton and stay in the area so that it doesn't despawn. Oh, I got it. I almost forgot to include this next trophy because it's so boring. All I have to do for this trophy is to make charcoal, which can be easily done by smelting a log in a furnace. Then other log with char- wait, I don't even need to put it, the log in. For the next trophy, I need to ride a pig and get it to take fall damage. The only problem is that to ride a pig, you need a saddle, and I was just unlucky with naturally finding it. So I decided to try my luck by fishing, where there's only a 0.8% chance of me catching it. But that number skyrockets once I enchant my fishing rod. And not even a minute after fishing, I got a saddle. Yeah. Oh, I just got a saddle from fishing. So I got on the pig and steered it up a staircase and got the trophy. There was still one more miscellaneous trophy that was going to haunt me later, but I'll leave that for later. So with that, I've crossed off the second step of the platinum trophy. Step three is to beat the ender dragon. But first, I need to get the resources to fight the ender dragon. And to do that, I need to head back into the nether. And I wasn't trying to recreate what happened last time in the nether, so I went with iron armor and tools. Once I got into the nether, I was fighting a ghast when I found a shocking discovery. Netherite? If you didn't know, you need this block to craft netherite, which is the strongest armor in the game. Anyway, that's not what I was after during this trip. I was after ender pearls and blaze rods. With these, you can craft eyes of ender, which is a key component to open the end portal. So my first goal was to trade with these pigmen. By giving them gold, you receive back a random item. But what I was after is ender pearls, which have a low chance of being given from the pigmen. But I got pretty lucky and was able to get all the pearls I needed in no time. Mm -hmm. Ender pearls. Ender pearls. The next thing I was after was another fortress because they contained blazes which drop blaze rods when killed. Luckily there was a fortress right next to my portal which meant I was able to get all the blaze rods I needed in no time. The only problem I had with this fortress is that there was no nether wart, which is very important for making certain potions, but I'll come back to that later. With all the stuff I got from that first trip, I was able to make a splash potion of weakness, which is something I need for the zombie doctor trophy. But first I got a trophy just for brewing a potion. So I went out late at night searching for a zombie villager, and I not only found one but two zombie villagers. Zombie doctor. I also got the trophy overkill for dealing nine hearts of damage in one attack So it was now round two in the nether and I was destined to get all the other stuff I needed along the journey of finding a new fortress I needed to get the trophy returned to Sander for killing a gas with its own fireball However, these gas were lay in the matrix dodging all my shots But I was able to get the trophy once I predicted where the gas was going next next I had to traverse the nether to hopefully find another fortress that might not even have nether wart But thankfully there was another fortress situated only a few hundred blocks away and not even five seconds into the fortress I found nether wart and immediately ran away. With the nether wart, I was able to craft a potion of fire resistance. With that, I can now get the stained frosty trophy for swimming in lava with a fire resistance potion. Alright, let's drink the fire resistance potion. Alright, let's go. And not even 5 minutes later, I got the passing the time trophy for playing 100 in game days. Now I have all the resources to beat the ender dragon, but first I had one more trophy, and that's to collect every color of wool. This would end up being the trophy that would take me so long and would be mentally draining. I was able to get all the other colors of wool in quick succession, but the green colors are the one that took me so long. And the one thing I needed to get green dye is cactus, which I now consider my biggest enemy. I swear my world had everything other than a cactus, and I can prove that. I accidentally found a woodland mansion, which I'm pretty sure is the rarest structure in all of Minecraft. Another crazy thing I found is when I entered a jungle and even found a glitched panda that was constantly rolling. I was so exhausted from trying to find a cactus, so I decided to tell my friends that if they can find and bring me some cactus, I would pay them two stacks of emeralds. So my friends immediately went on a hunt to find cactus, but even with all four of us trying to find it, I left empty-handed. I didn't want it to come to this, but I decided to give up on this world and try to get the trophy in a second world. So I spam created worlds until I spawned in a desert. Now that I got cactus, I just need to get all the other colors of wool, which were pretty easy because all I need to do is get a few flowers. Yo, Rainbow Collection! Now it is time for the grand finale, the Ender Dragon. But first, I needed to find the Stronghold. By throwing an eye vendor, it will point the direction of the Stronghold. At some point, the eye started pointing backwards, and eventually, I pinpointed the location of the Stronghold. Oh, <gasps> I found it! Once I got into the Stronghold, it took me an extra 10 minutes just to find the portal room. But once me and my friends all got to the portal room, it was now game on. 
Oh, hell. No, not in. Oh. Firstly, I had to destroy all the crystals on the obsidian towers because they healed the ender dragon. I'm not even gonna flex, but I literally carry this fight because they kept somehow dying. But after I destroyed all the crystals, its health was literally going down so quickly. He's so low! Just hit him with your bow. Nope. Nope. Yes. Nope. Come on. Yes. Nope. One more shot. Yes. Let's go! Oh my gosh, the levels! Oh my gosh, you set the XP. Nice. The end. Awarded all trophies the platinum. Too easy. If you guys made it this far, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit like and subscribe because my next video is going to be Platinum Super Meat Boy, which is one of the hardest games of all time.